all the way flat. So, let's see what happens here. Oh, has like a flat spot. Mm. Alright, I'm try pulling it. Oh yeah, should have done this to start with. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I'll do for now. We gotta move all these logs before I could take more of these down the chainsaw. And I got some fallen trees here too. Get out of the way. Oh. Winter storm brought down some trees. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Be more careful, I guess. So I thought it would be cool to show you how we heat our house with wood. And Jeff's about to chainsaw all the remaining wood from last year that we didn't use. And uh, this wood won't be enough to heat our house for the whole winter. I mean, possibly, but we don't feel comfortable. Yeah, no, it's not enough. So we're going to have to order another truckload. And uh, when we do get a delivery of it, uh, it's 10 cords of wood. So this lasts for close to two years to heat us, and it's pretty cool. This will probably get us to January, February, and that's about it. So we definitely need to order more wood. But for now, we can just uh, chainsaw the rest of this, split it, and stack it. And then it'll give us a good, it'll give us a good head start anyway. So this, is, this wood's gonna be more dry than, than wood that we buy. It's, a, it's aged, uh, when we buy it, a logger drops it off. It's aged a year or two, but still, it doesn't really dry out until you get it split and stacked. Yeah, and the method, the way we do it, Jeff always chainsaws. I, I don't want to touch that thing. That's way too, I'm not strong enough. And then I'll split the wood. So Jeff will start chainsawing. We have all of these cut wood everywhere, and then we'll roll it over together. I split it up, and then our family stacks it. Our kids help a little bit. They're starting to get of age where they can help more. And uh, we're going to start. We have a lot to do. Can we get a wheelbarrow? That can help. All right. So now what I like to do is I like to roll a bunch of logs off into, into a line basically. So I could just come through here when the chainsaw is on and just buzz through all of them at the same time. So I'm not constantly trying to get a new log while the chainsaw is running, stuff like that. You spend a lot, you waste a lot of gas that way. So it's just simply this I put up here from before. Watch out.
So, let's roll it forward. <laughs> here, we'll put that one here. One. Gotta be careful. Like that. You gotta watch the pile as you're doing it. Sometimes so it doesn't fall on me. A little bit of setup now, but it'll save a lot of time later. We can bully them around a little bit if you lift them. The guy that delivers our wood is really cool the way he lays them down. He puts okay. these two long pieces of wood right here and then puts the other ones perpendicular to it. Helps us out. So, I think it's too tough or dangerous. I like to use my can hook. Basically, it just gives me a huge amount of leverage so I can roll these things around. That one to want to roll. Get the stuff. The whole pile is going to come. Yeah, just be careful. Darn, they're laying weird right now. Hold it. Got a wiggle them loose. If I can get this one to roll, I'll be in good shape. Here we go. That is an awesome, awesome tool. Side. Don't get too close. Okay. So, help me roll it a little bit more. There's a few more kind of wedged in the middle like that. Oh, mm. not able to bite this one. Yeah, Jeff, look over here. It's behind a piece of wood. I might be able to just lift this one. I don't know, that's really long. Nah. Jeff, maybe just chainsaw the top part of it. Yeah. Pull it over. It's gonna start chainsawing. No sense in getting hurt. my saw steel MS391. It's 
the beast. I got my uh, safety glasses shock rated. Not that I think wood chips are gonna break my glasses, but that's what I had. The one thing I know Jeff really likes about this chainsaw is the carbide chain. He really likes that. Yeah, the chain doesn't dull very quickly. It's nice.
we're done for now. We just did a little bit together this morning. This is our first day that all the kids are at school and uh, Jeff and I are alone today. He has off for work, so we're gonna go fishing. We're pretty excited about that. So we just got a little bit done and you can see the way we stack it. We uh, stack it all one way and then we go perpendicular, perpendicular the other way. And you just keep doing that and it makes a nice sturdy stack. And we'll go to about, what would you say? It's like four feet high maybe? Mm -hmm. Sometimes about five we go feet. four or five feet tall, and then we try to go to the next row, just because the taller it gets, it gets a little bit more dangerous, especially for the kids trying to help out. And uh, that's a good start for now, especially just being the end of the summer. This is, we're, we're on track right now for who we are. All right, that's it.